and I'm Rona Cameron. And I'm not. I'm Richard Fairbrass. Well, as you can see, we're back with a fantastic new set. We're Woo! bigger and brighter than before. Woo! So settle on down now for 40 minutes of Gay Time TV. Over the next eight weeks, we'll be filling our new and shiny studio with fantastic guests, amazing stories, and what we hope will be some magical moments, won't we? No, yeah, we will, Richard. During the new series, we're going to be meeting a complete variety of people from all walks of life, right? From girls who work in uh, lesbian brothels to Britain's first gay lap dancers. But coming up tonight... We get lively with Lulu. <laughs> Andy with Andy. to Yorkshire to scale the dikes defending the town of Hebden Bridge. And after the Admiral Duncan nail bomb, a special report, exclusive interviews and an update on the most horrific act of homophobic violence this country has ever seen. But that's all coming up later. Um, in the new series of Gay Time, we've decided that we'd like to hear what you think, so we're giving you details of how you can get in touch. Now, this guest, found fame at 15, has shown she's fabulous at 50, and despite winning the Eurovision Song Contest, she's still gone on from strength to strength. Please give it up for the one and only Lulu! No, well, everyone's yes. got, everyone asks you this, Lulu. I have to do the same. You do look absolutely fabulous. So what, what, I have to know what your uh, secret is. It's all natural. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you would let me down. Is it a rigorous cleansing process? <laughs> early to bed, water, what's, uh, your, what's your beauty tips? <laughs> Stop it. No, I'm Stop serious. It. I'm serious. I want to look like you when I'm 50. It's well, a long way off. Here. I think, um, I know I just like girly things. I like buy clothes. I like to have my hair done. Um, I take care of myself. I take mm. good care of myself. I like to eat and I like to eat well. I do yoga. Uh. Uh, but you've heard me say all this before. I'm not saying anything new. Oh, it's uh. nice to know those personal little things little about touches, you. Know, really. huh? Now listen, your career, okay, has spanned, has spanned a while. Wait a minute, Rona. Where, where does it come from? Uh, Musselburgh. Musselburgh. <laughs> Musselburgh. Did you have, well, no, you wouldn't have known Linda Gibb when she lived there. I know that the Bee Gees are married to a woman yeah. from Musselburgh. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, Barry. Famous, Barry's right? wife, Linda, and her, and her mother has the thickest, I mean, your accent's just about, you can just about tell you. I've stuff. tried to climb the social ladder. It hasn't <laughs> been easy. You've done very well, and done very well. But, but uh, me goes, I come from Musselburgh. Just like that. I love that accent. Yeah, that's terrible. That's a terrible accent. Oh, well, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I like your more uh, kind of trans-global Scottish accent. Do you? I don't know what Now, I'm... you've got a brilliant new single we're going to see in a second. I just want to ask you a quick question before we go over to that. OK. Um, you, I mean, how, are you, how do you still remain to be, Are you still as passionate about your music now? Yeah, I love it. As ever. I love it. It's, you know, there's that John Miles song, Music is my first love And it will be my last I really think that that song was written for me. <laughs> I like to show, and I like to show off. I like to show off. You've well, noticed. He, well, here's, here's a clip I of can you. Sing. Here's a clip of you showing off in your, in your latest song. Let's have a look. That's a very sort of gay tune, Lulu, there you've got Is it there, very isn't it? gay, yes, darling? Yes, it's very... <laughs> it is, it is. It's a bit gay, isn't it? What's, yeah. Tell me, tell me what What's you gay? think is gay about it. Well, it's just that kind of... Oh, that kind of thing. <laughs> oh, you mean that kind of gay thing? Well, it's just got that kind of... <laughs> 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 it makes you 
kind of want to. It's a good you know, club mix. Very good. It club is. Mix, no, yeah. is. Was this kind of aimed at uh, a gay market? Because it is very. To be honest with you, no, it no. wasn't. Now this is supposed to be sort of parts of uh, the song, you know, because I mm. I started writing just a very short time ago, and the first song that I I wrote with my brother Billy uh, and Steve DeBerry was recorded by Tina Turner, and. Then I started to write a bit more, and Winona Judd did one. This album is songs that have something to do with me and my experiences, and about people I know too. You know, so it's, it comes from trying to find my own voice to sing my own lyrics about my own experiences. But the mix is a club mix. Yeah, it's definitely the almighty mix. Good dance club. And you guys yeah. all go to clubs, right? Yeah. I think so. Yes, I think so. And of course, that's what's so great about this mix. Is that you can really dance to it. You performed at Birmingham Pride recently. I did. Uh, there was, a, was yeah. Are we here today? There was a little bit of a technical fiasco that you turned oh, around to your advantage. Stop it! Tell us. Oh God. Well, it happens. It happens all the time. You go on, and because I was just singing to a, a track. Uh, they, they put the tape on and the, the thing stopped, started, stopped, started, stopped. So I said, oh, shut up. And I just sang. And, of course, everybody was really oh, great. No, really they were, like, you. thrilled because I, I didn't walk off and have a tiz, you know. Now, um, you're, you're uh, it's rumoured that you're going to appear in the BBC head-to-head. -head, uh, you know, Scylla, a bit of a <laughs> Where have they got that from? Are you going to Saturday night, Lulu, BBC? Big well, you read something in the papers this week uh, to clear it all up. Well, hopefully, be be clear about it. Okay. But um, Priscilla, I mean, what does she need me to? Oh, never mind. We'd like to we'd like to see Lulu on Saturday night, wouldn't we? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that's all. Um, Thank you. Really, you know, so really much. good luck with the single and everything. Thanks Lovely so to meet much. you, Lulu. Yeah, everyone. In Old Compton Street, Soho, the focal point of London's gay community, a bomb ripped apart the Admiral Duncan pub. It was an event that was to take homophobic violence to a new and unprecedented level. For years, Soho has been at the heart of London's gay community. It's supposed to be a shower scene with me and him. <laughs> no, there was. I'm not just making it up. What's this? You get to do shower scenes? No, there actually was. Yeah, there was. Anyway, we'll talk about it. It's ridiculous. And we've also got uh, Eurovision winner Charlotte Nilsson, who will be taking us to heaven. <laughs> We've got the next instalment of The Scene in Brum, our doco soap, and the ultimate makeover challenge at Britain's first gay lap dancing bar. You're a fan of lap dancing bars, Richard, aren't you? I like lap dancing bars of both persuasions. Yes, I do indeed. <laughs> but to play us out, we have the big, bad, butch, handy Andy, resplendent with a yellow helmet. This time, poor swine. <laughs> <laughs> and in a tribute to the village people heading down to the YMCA. <laughs> You're bed, there's no need to feel down. I said, you're bed, pick yourself off the ground. I said, you're bed, because you're in a new town. There's no need to be unhappy. You're bed, there's a place you can go. I said, you're bed, when you're short on your go, you can't stay there. And I'm sure you won't find many ways to have a good time. Here we go. Come on. It's fun to stay out there. Bye.